Joshua chapter 9, verse 14. The Israelites share men of Israel sampled their provisions, but they did not inquire of the Lord. The Israelites, we are told, fought so many battles. In fact, 39 battles in the promised land as compared to the two that fought through their exodus from Egypt. But in the midst of all these, having found themselves in a new territory and in the midst of the Gibeonites, something really happened that they did not inquire of the Lord to hear from him, ask of him, and seek his consent or through discernment get to know what he wills for them. Now, there is going to be a very severe consequence for not seeking the face of the Lord and not seeking to hear from him before they took this decision. Upon hearing the presence of the Israelites in the promised land, the Gibeonites themselves were terrified. It's a good thing for your reputation to precede you, and that is the prayer of every one of us, that let our integrity, let our reputation always go before us wherever we go. But when they got into this new territory and in the midst of these people, the people terrified, they didn't know what to do, and in pretense, they took on to wearing thorn old clothes, meaning they changed their identity so that these people will see them and also accommodate them. But this deception came about because Joshua himself has not prayed and has not sought the face of God. Of course, individually, we can pray directly to the Lord. And that establishes our vertical relationship with him. And of course, in Judeo-Christian theology, there are just two kinds of relationship. The horizontal relationship and the vertical relationship. The horizontal, our relationship with one another. The vertical, our relationship directly with God. But two are complementary because the love of God will necessarily and always should translate into the love of neighbor. No. Because Joshua had not sought the face of the Lord, a result of these is the need for them to avoid, you know, cross-tribal marriages while they had to make an entire people their slaves. In our own individual life, we must beware of the deception of people, particularly when we go into new territories. When you go into a new office, when you assumed a new position, when you go into a new home, of course, you get to an exalted position. The first set of people who always come singing praises or trying to give you the history of the whole place, beware because they will always have their own plans and ulterior motives. So this experience of the Israelites and the Gibeonites and this calm or deception brought upon them, which is going to lead consequently you know, to the experience of the Israelites again, reminds me of what has happened to King Saul 1,000 years earlier. The Lord gave him an instruction that as he's going on a battle front, he should destroy all the Amalekites. But he spared the precious you know, animals and, you know, booties, a lot of goods that he came back home with, and the Lord was not happy. What are we trying to say? Obedience to the Lord remains supreme because God has always been with us, and we should always seek to consult him when we arrive new territories, when we take new positions, when we take new offices of life, or we get to find ourselves in new environments. In our days and time, and particularly in Nigeria, there's something that I want to urge and encourage all of us to be very, very careful and beware of, which I also see, you know, a manifestation of this Gibeonite, you know, scam or reels or deception in it. In moments of reception, in the moment of recession, rather, in when the economy is not really working out well, you see a lot of scam going on. 
put on the telephone, you just sit, you hear somebody call you that this, 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 you need to come to a bank or send your BVM. Or again, promises of, you know, huge paying businesses here and there. It is all Robin Peter to pay Paul, and we must all beware. Even today, I want to say, beggars wear suits on the streets, and we must all be alert. So finally, my dear friends, the hallmark of it all is that we seek always to consult and inquire from the Lord what he wishes for us in our relationships, in your businesses, in your home, in your offices, career, vocation, or profession.